know. We always know which is the right way and which is the bad way. The bad way sometimes feels better, so we may choose that way and justify it by rationalization in order to make ourselves feel better about the bad that we did. Isn't that the way we all do things? Even if we do something wrong and we know we're doing something wrong, don't we attempt to rationalize it in our own mind and to our friends to justify what we're doing? So I believe it's a great fallacy to set out to brand those whom we disagree with as being evil people. The result of their actions we may perceive to be evil. We may perceive it to be bad. But I guarantee you those people don't see it that way. You see, nobody gets up in the morning and sets out to do evil. Nobody consciously does that. I've never met any person in my entire life who said, I'm evil, I'm going to do evil things, I like to do evil things, I want to do evil things. They don't exist, in my knowledge. And when we present ourselves to them in that light, we're good and they're evil, do you think we have a chance of getting them to listen to us? Not on your life. It's not going to happen. So I think we have to change the way we talk. We have to talk to them in a different manner. these things need to be passed on to you and I think you need to start examining yourself, your agenda, your mission. Who are you? What are you about? What do you believe about America? Is it true? Are you helping to divide us more? Or are you helping to bring us together? Do you really understand what this country is all about? Maya Amsha Rothschild had made a very interesting and profound statement. He said, allow me to control and issue the money of a nation and I care not who writes its laws. And he was right. Maya Amschel Rothschild is called the founding father of international finance. In 2005, Forbes magazine ranked him seventh on their list of the 20 most influential businessmen of all time. All this happened um, back in 1776. And this was during May 1st and shortly thereafter. The significance behind that is that on May 1st, 1776, Dr. Adam Weishaupt, who was a devout Jesuit um, priest, who was given the chair of the professorship of religious um, studies at Ingolstadt University, was approached by Maya Angel Bauer, who would later change his last name to Rothschild, along with 12 of his most financially influential friends. They knew Weishaupt at that particular time was not only a genius when it came to the occult world, but Weishaupt also had an ax to because it was the Catholic Church that just recently defrocked him. He was no longer a Jesuit priest. And he was going to send a message to them, to the monarchies of Europe, and to all other people who would try to have their will over his. What Rothschild and Weisop came up with was a plan to destroy the old world system of government through monarchies and the church and to set up a new world order in its place. This is said to be the great plan of all the secret societies. So what happened? My Angel Bauer approached Weishaupt and basically told him, we know you've got the occult knowledge and genius to put it all together. We've got the money. You do it, we'll back it. Just to paraphrase what really happened. So in 1773, 
Weishaupt started creating what had never been created before. The idea of Illuminism had always been around, ever since the days of Babylon, with the co-founders of being that Nimrod and Sunny Lamps. But no one had ever been able to actualize it. However, May 1st, 1776, the order of the Illuminati had become a reality under the auspices of Dr. Anna Weissman. Now, like other nations, orders, countries and such, they have their two great seals. The order of the Illuminati does. Those two seals can be found on the back of a one dollar bill. People mistake those to be the two great seals of the United States of America. They are not. Those are the two seals of the order, order of the Illuminati. And I'm going to explain it to you. In order to understand the seal itself, we have to first take a look at every single thing that composites it. We look at the first part of it on, on our left, which would be the truncated pyramid one. Above it is a 13-letter Latin expression that says annuit corruptus. And directly underneath the base of the pyramid is a three-word Latin expression, which is novus ordo seclorum. If you were to look up the word, let's say, work, in the English um, um, dictionary, you're going to find at least 50 different meanings for it. It is the same thing in Latin. Different words have different meanings. They have more than one meaning. Um, the word seclorum, one of the definitive meanings is it is um, secular. Something that is secular is of the world. So it is proper, very proper, to translate the bottom as new world order, the novus order seclorum. The whole of it is saying, announcing the birth of a new world order. This would be Dr. Adam Weishaupt himself, the very first head of the order of the Illuminati. It was Weishaupt who had himself come up with a seven part plan to create what he called the Novus Ordo Seclorum, or the New World Order. This is the person responsible for it. The interesting thing about the front of the dollar bill is that there are four huge ones. There is one in every single corner. Now if we look at each of every single one of them, they each have an oval around it, except for the top right hand one. Now if we look at this blow up version of it, you will find there is no oval. This is a shield that is surrounding the one. Now, the reason there was a shield here is because this is very similar to the original shield that was given to the Rothschild family when Baron Maya Amschel Rothschild had become um, knighted in England and received the Lordship. If we look across the top of this shield, all the way to the left-hand side, it drops down and forms a crescent moon. It's a crescent moon because it represents the female goddess in the occult world. At the bottom of that shield, of, excuse me, of that lunar moon, you will see the hour. And it's very obvious, once you take a good look at that part of the crescent moon, and it is the same Illuminati owl that is being worshiped at the Bohemian Grove in California by those members of the Bohemian Group, where presidents, premiers, kings and queens and heads of nations throughout this world have met. You can tell just by looking at this photo, that is a 40-foot owl, it is made out of oak, and that the worshippers are surrounding that fire pit around that altar, which is easily reflected in the light around them. This is definitely the owl of the Illuminati. Lift up your hands, O ye trees, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting fire. For behold, here is Bohemia shrine, and holy are the pillars of this house.
darkness, you will be enlightened. How do we penetrate years, centuries of historical distortion to find original truth? Tonight, this will be our quest.